Hey, what's happening, everybody? We're back. It's Troy D. Welcome back to the channel, Troy D. Twenty Four Seven Mall. On point reviews all day, every day. So first and foremost, thank you guys again for everybody that helped us reach to one K. Thank you, yay! I mean, I know it's like not as crazy as the other, um, I guess, YouTube sites that have lots and lots of followers, but you know, it's a really important step, a really important milestone. Um, at least you know step by step we're getting there so i want to thank everybody for that and um i made a whole video thanking everybody basically so thank you and if you haven't subscribed guys please subscribe now i mean it's only been like maybe three months and we've had maybe over i guess 80 or 70 videos with a lot of really good content for you guys to browse make sure you check that out because there's a lot of good content waiting for you okay so today is another review Okay, this is a uh, all you need to know review about uh, a perfume that a lot of people are curious about. This is Roja Parfums Danger Parfum Cologne, the red bottle. Roja Danger Parfum Cologne. Okay, so just FYI, this is from the uh, Parfum Cologne batch that Roja did. Roja uh, basically uh, released uh, five of his classics. Uh, which are basically they have their own EDP form or their X trait forms, which is a uh, different perfumes. They're more um, expensive, um, and uh, but by a little bit, but but they're they're more expensive and they're more concentrated. And basically, the tweak that he made uh, to these parfum colognes are basically that they are more uh, they're brighter, cleaner, fresher, and uh, we all know, guys spring summer that's really really needed at this point and so i wanted to bring this up because a lot of people are curious about this uh dangerous other brothers which is enigma and elysium are basically the more popular ones the more talked about ones and dangerous kind of like that third brother that i don't know doesn't get enough love or doesn't get enough attention or if there is um it's not enough there's not a lot of people that are really I guess saying, yo, you got to get danger. You got to buy this um, as compared to Elysium and Enigma. OK, so let's get into this. How did I end up with this danger uh, parfum cologne? Uh, just like everybody, I started with Elysium and Enigma. And those are, I would say, easily some of my favorites, period. Um, Elysium uh, definitely is. Uh, I'm going to review that very soon. It's a non Aventus uh just want to bring that up right here to me is a non-aventus just uh maybe yeah pineapple uh, uh leathery kind of kind of like a a super classy uh version of aventus minus the brightness which i really like you know uh, i've i've talked about elysium um especially on the projection video um i brought that up and how uh, Elysium is so effective for me as a great fragrance, okay? And Enigma, well, Enigma, <laughs> okay? But Danger right here, Danger is the third. And how I figured out uh, Danger was when I was at Scent Bar, okay? So when I was at Scent Bar, uh, I was trying multiple, multiple scents, a lot of scents, okay? I had the opportunity to try um, Fougères, right and actually fougeres a lot of the fougeres that were there really didn't impress me because well a i'm not really a fougere guy um i i don't really i'm not in that position i guess in in my lifestyle and and i know many people are in that position where this uh kind of like that barbershop scent um is really needed like a gentleman barbershop scent and um which is great for not only work but just socializing um fougeres definitely you know in the mix but for me i don't know i guess my lifestyle um is is a little bit different than that and so the fougeres really didn't i don't know they didn't mesh with me you know i was just like okay that's nice you know i tried the mdci that's cool right and then uh when i had uh i guess you know one hour 45 minutes um at scent bar you know, I made sure to try the ones I really wanted to go and check out. You know, the Jovoy, the... Uh, I, yeah, I have a whole video about it, you know, uh, Nasomato. Anyways, Danger was one of those where I just looked to my right and I was just like, Oh, 
right there you know red bottle oh yeah right yeah right danger oh yeah i forgot about that um so i was like all right let's go let's go test that out anyways and then when i tried it out man boom i got hit right um although this is um you could say a fougere i got hit yo i got hit and i was like oh hmm all right nice right i was like nice um and then I just, that was it, right? And then I had other things on the horizon after that. Like I I felt like Amber Cologne was something that was the more memorable one, um, uh, as well as Private Blend. I felt like those were more memorable than Danger, but Danger definitely kind of made me think. And, and matter of fact, it didn't make me like pass it. Like I was just like, okay, whatever, MDCI. So anyways, how I got this was on a trade. So I, I traded this with um, one of my friends. He's my friend now, you know, actually. And he comes from a, a warmer climate, like really, really warm. And he said, you know, I I don't have any use for the danger at this point. Um, it's it's really hot here. And I can, I can see that. Uh, I've traveled, you know, to Southeast Asia where... I feel like the Arabian oud uh, fragrances aren't, they don't smell that well on really, really hot, humid weather. And then I'll take them here and I'll spray a seal here, for example, and the smells like totally different, right? Um, because of the climate, uh, the weather. And so I, I agreed to uh, trade one of my perfumes for uh, his danger. And that's how it happened, okay? And, uh, I will say this, guys, not only is this first impressions, but really, Danger really smells like a true fougere, you know, a true fougere, a true barbershop scent. I mean, the thing has, you know, your bergamot, your citrus, your tarragon, your lavender, your violet, your jasmine. Um, I mean, you could look at the multitude of notes, ambergris, musk, uh, uh cumin uh it even has leather which i don't know where that is i don't smell the leather in this thing but uh bottom line guys it is a true fougere true barber shop scent straight out of the barbers um that's what danger really is in a nutshell however uh roja blended it um that's really what it is now the thing that you know makes people that have bought it you know uh not disappointed is that number one okay they're not expecting a groundbreaking perfume if you are expecting a groundbreaking perfume and you bought this ah yeah yeah something's gonna happen you're gonna go on facebook groups and then you're gonna say i hate this this sucks what is this you know like <laughs> it was a total letdown i thought this was dangerous that's what's gonna happen you're gonna go and, and go on a rant on how you didn't like it, okay? Follow my lead here, guys. I started with the groundbreaking ones. And after I've had a bunch of groundbreaking ones, there's just one that just smells great, okay? Not too groundbreaking, but great. This is what it is. That's why this is the third out of my, the whole collection, the third pickup out of the Roja Parfum Cologne line. If I made this the first, oh my gosh, I would be disappointed. But at this point, it was like, okay, I, I tried it and I was like, hmm, smells great. Smells real barbershop, right? Now, what would make this different to say like a Zaharoff, right? Like other other Fougères. I also reviewed like a, a, an exclusive Roja Fougère, the uh, H. What makes this cool to me? It is a Parfum Cologne. Meaning the tweaks that Roja did here, he made it smell a little bit more fresher, right? So that a guy like me, who doesn't wear fougeres, who does not wear uh, a suit every day, who does not um, want to smell mature every day, can wear a fougere. That I could wear a fougere proudly and brightly and happily and I could interact with people uh, that maybe, you know, uh, like you smelling the other you know, different scents with danger. That's the plus side. That's the plus side of wearing the danger, okay? The way he did it is that, yes, it smells barbershoppy, but in a really bright, fresh way. Wearable anytime. 
I guess except for like super hot weather. But spring, you can wear it even if you are a younger guy. Because the biggest concern that I had was that this one, many people were saying, is an old man scent. And I don't know what that is because I'm getting older too. I'm not a young guy. All right. <laughs> but but to me, this one right here, if we're talking like ultra, 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 ultra mature. Nah, this ain't it. Even a younger, maybe like a above 25, maybe a working guy wants to wear this and make an impact. Yeah, danger for sure. Now, the second plus side to danger that I found just trying it out is that it is a siage bomb. Siage bomb, long lasting. I mean, indoors, guys, I could smell myself. Like, you know how it is, guys, when you when you own perfumes and sometimes they just go outwardly and you would have to smell, uh, uh, spray a little bit in your clavicle so you can have your own, you know, a little bit of smell of your own perfume uh, and enjoy that. Like, danger is like that even if you don't spray it in your clavicle. Like, just at the side of your neck on your pulse points, it's almost like you're enjoying it. The, the siage is so... Ah, potent you know that's the word potent it's so potent that it's just you smell it all around you and this is indoors and um the moment i went outdoors wearing danger ay 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 man even stronger you know when the wind hit me everything um that nice california breeze boom i was like wow man now it's really really a siage kind of like bomb around me and it is long lasting okay now I know what you guys are gonna say the cost so expensive blah 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 okay like I said before guys you know if it's out of your price range guys okay think about what I said a couple of things I said number one is that this is not a groundbreaking perfume so if you guys are saving up all this hard-earned money for like a groundbreaking perfume don't get danger get something else okay but if you chance upon a moment where you can get danger at a better price, and you can at this point because it's COVID times, gray market is going crazy right now. I uh, got my own deals I'm going to share to you guys very, very soon when the packages come in. But um, it's COVID times. You can get this at a cheaper price in the gray market, right? Or even the discount. Uh, I, I sent you guys videos on the discounts that are going on right now. Uh, this one was, I think, two, 210 with the Neiman Marcus um you can get it on discount if you want create you know you want to go even lower than that you can do decants hit me up let me know if you want a decant of this 10 mil 10 mil is a long way but you know let's not talk about that you know let's not talk about the cost because at this point acquiring is is not really that hard but let's just talk about i guess you know what you would use this for you know it's it's just such a clean barbershop scent very high end long lasting siage bomb if that appeals to you then definitely danger danger is for you parfum cologne okay not an old man scent you heard that from me not an old man scent for sure okay all right that's it guys that's my review on danger parfum cologne from roja guys don't forget always to subscribe guys we got a lot more coming as always and thank you again for 1k you know it's a it's a nice step you know we'll go we'll head to 10 20 and 30 and beyond all right all right guys that's it guys watch your videos too and until then guys peace out god bless